Right, hello, welcome back to Bubbles TV. So today is an exciting day for me because I'm going to go collect my new road bike. Pick up the bike from a dealership, essentially, which happens to be Bike Bros, which is really useful. So yeah, let's go down there and see my new road bike. We'll talk some more about that down there and like what's going on with it and stuff. So yeah, see you there. Right, so we've made it to Bike Bros. So here it is, so now it's time to go see my new road bike. And I believe it's that one there. Here it is. Looks good. Oh, there we go, so BH. You can't actually see it because of the light, but that's BH. Hopefully you can see that, can you? Don't really know, to be fair. But yeah, so. BH UK or Cyclista very kindly has sent me this bike to use for training, racing if I want to. And yes, today we've collected it from the boys at Bike Bros. This is their shop, it's really cool. They've got an insane amount of parts, as you can see tools, wheels, more tools, clothing, helmets, anything you need. An awesome workshop. There's Harry. Hello Harry. Hello. Yusuf, the owner of the shop. Hi man. And just a man that helps me out endlessly for some reason. Don't really know why. But yeah. So, this is my new road bike, which I could not be happier about. But look at it. Pretty epic. So, we're running tomorrow. I'll take the DI2 on it. A rotor cranks at the minute. We're going to change those for some power meters because all I do is power. My training is on power meters. Uh, currently it's got MV wheels sat on the Pirelli P0 tires, which I won't lie, currently my favorite tire I've ever used on a road bike, which is insane. Oh, they're just ridiculous. So I'm running 52.36 on the front, and I believe a 10 to 30 on the back. No, 11 to 30, except. And yeah, it's awesome looking bike. Can't wait to ride it. It's a bit different to my last road bike, just in terms of the gearing and what actual group set we're using, but we're gonna go and test it in a minute because I can't wait. I could not be happier about this, so thanks to Chris and Drew and Yusuf for sorting this out for me. Thank you everyone for that. Yeah, I can't wait to go race it, train on it and use it. So yeah, let's go take it for a spin. Right, so I'm home, we're dressed. We're ready to take it for its first trip. So we're gonna do a little loop. Like Golden Mink sort of way. It's like 13, 15 miles-ish. Um, so we'll see how she feels. Some good fast sections on it, or segments. It'll be nice to see how she goes. Hopefully got it all dialed in with seat height and everything. Um, and yeah, right, let's get going. Right, so this bike is the G8 disc from B8. So the G8 is BH's aero bike. I don't know how well you can hear me, but yeah. So this is the aero bike. And for most people I speak to, you don't really want to climb an aero bike. But no matter what you do, you're always going to end up climbing, especially if you live anywhere like Surrey, which is just up and down. Granted, it's not a mountain but it's up and down. So, for the first bit, we're gonna do a steep climb to see how, to see how she goes. And then we'll get onto all the fun stuff, like descending and just flat TT sort of sections. But yeah, so let's carry on with that. <sighs> right, we're on the climb. It's pretty aggressive. I've done this climb on X e bike a lot of times. And it's not fun. But it's not the end of the world. So I've had a more endurancey sort of road bike before. That went up here well, but Felt flimsy, had a lot of flex, and don't know, you felt like you wasted power. 
I don't like wasting that because wasting power means wasted energy. As you can hear, I'm blowing. Thanks, still talk. Right. Don't mind the DI2 just zzzzing. That's not the end of the world, you know. If anything, it's far from it. That climbed unreal. When I look at, as a minute climb, don't check on the time of this video, but it was a minute, I promise. <laughs> oh. Right, so now we've got that aggressive hill out of the way, we can go do some fun fast sections. So we've got this flat, um, which I'm going to try and turn you around for. Do, 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 do. They say it's flat, it's more like downhill than flat. Oh, crikey, all over the place. You can see both thumbs, you can see both thumbs. So, yeah, let's go do some more fun stuff, I guess. Right, we're gonna pull into the Harpney Lane descent now. Quite a heavy gradient. Probably not actually at all. There's no sign, so I'm just making stuff up at this point. But, I mean, without trying, we're doing 30 miles an hour down here on the GPS, so it probably looks pretty like, hectic on the camera from all the shaking. But we've got to be a bit careful and sensible, because it's a bit of a country lane, there might be horses, cars, anything. But I tell you what, sun's out, it's a new bike, it's a good day. I brought you guys along for the ride. Now this is a good fast section of down and turning. You've got to be careful with the cars, but... This is a fun, fun section. If this was a road closed area, I tell you what, you'd lose your head with what sort of speed you'd pull down here. I mean, if you were a pro roadie, which I'm not, it would be gnarly. I mean, we held 20 around that turn, so be careful what you can't see. But that was a good little section. Shame they're not more on top of each other, but it was good. This thing is going to be a machine if I get to race crits. Uh, it just throws into a turn. It just holds pace. I mean, we're up to 24 down here. It's a nice little switch back set. Twenty-six. See what we can get through here at. That's twenty-five. Straight back through, still holding twenty-five. Twenty-four six, twenty-four nine. She just holds such an impressive pace. You can see why it's an aero bike. You really can. This is a good section. I mean, look at the road. It's sunny. It's not ruined. It's not that bumpy. It's just amazing. Oh, well, we're coming into a red. We all hope for a clear run at this roundy. So if you get this one right, there's not much more rewarding on a road bike. But I mean, look at that. Cars around you and straight up to speed. 
25 miles an hour and my goodness never say it like road bikes come do this because this is one hell of a feeling so you get 25 miles an hour by your own legs there's nothing quite like it oh my goodness sensational get a road we're on right now i think it's called the Broadwater Flat on a segment on Strava. I use this for every sprint session I do on a road bike. So it's another amazing roundabout if done right. We got a couple of good roundies on this road. All I can help, can't stop thinking. This bike is fast, and I am loving it. Oh, what a bit of kit to use for training, eh? So we're coming in to a 90 degree right, 21 miles an hour. We've exited at 20.1. We've only lost about an hour or so. I got this little uphilly sprinty bit. To get out of the saddle for that. Oh, dreams. Twenty-eight point one, twenty-eight point eight, twenty-nine point seven. Now, this is where road biking is fun. We're still doing twenty-seven. I'm just loving it. What a day, what a bike, oh, sensational. system sprint oh good crit practice well I guess that ends new bike day first ride and the first look at it and my new pride and joy I guess I just want to thank Pro Cycle Care for all the stuff to look after this bike and any other bikes that I have or will have. Thanks so much to them. And then I just want to thank everyone that's been a part of this. So like Yusuf at Bike Bros, Chris at Bike Bros, and then Chris and Drew at Cyclista. Thank you so much, guys. Like, <sighs> I can't thank you all enough for this. So, yeah, hope you've all enjoyed this one. And you never know maybe we'll have a new video soon of an xe bike i don't know maybe but you gotta wait and see but for now thanks for watching like comment share and subscribe and see you on the next one peace out